Hey guys, this is Cody with Pull Parts To Go. Um, we're here on a test bench with one of the Black & Decker in-ground variable speed pumps, and I just want to talk a minute about checking voltage on these guys. Now there's multiple ways to check voltage. This is just a standard multimeter. You can find these really anywhere that sells hardware. Uh, there's little stick testers that just have small little leads that come off of them. These are actually pretty handy. Uh, I've used these quite a bit and they're all the way up to fancy auto selecting, auto ranging meters that do all sorts of weird stuff. Um, but for checking voltage on an appliance like these, especially 240 volt appliance, we do want to make sure that we're using something that can actually measure the voltage. What we do not want to use are the little tick tracers, the nut little non-contact ones with a little white nub on the end. Those really only show the presence of voltage. They don't really test for what the voltage actually is. So with these, um, these pumps run off 220 to 240 volt, meaning we have two lines that come in and each line carries power. You see we have 123 volts, 123 volts, and with the way 240 volt works, whenever we test across those two lines, we get 246 volts. We get the summation of the voltage carried on both of those two lines. Um, whenever you're testing this, it's tempting to just come in and go, okay, 120, 120, I'm good. We want to always make sure that we're testing for the 240 by testing across the two lines. That is the important number. If we only have one line bringing in the 120, it'll register the 120 on both lines, but it'll show very low or zero voltage between the two lines. And you'll either get an E08 error code on these pumps, or sometimes the screen won't even light up at all, depending on if the um, circuitry is getting energized enough to even trigger the error code in that case. Um, I'm gonna show you what it does in just a moment if you don't have the 240 volt coming in with the power across both lines. So now I've actually done a little bit of sabotage to this pump. I went back to my power supply and I've disconnected one of my two lines so that I only have the 120 volt coming in on one of the lines. And you can see that if I test both lines again, we have the same 123 volts. We have the same 123 volts. But now whenever I test across the two, I'm getting 0.75, just a little bit of nominal latent voltage. Uh, that's because one line is carrying the power in, that power is going through the pump and coming back out on the other line. So we're getting the 120 volts that's showing on both of these wires, but whenever we go across the two, since they're actually carrying the same power as each other right now, we're not getting the 240 volts between the two of them. And in this situation, you'd want to go back, you'd want to check any switches, any old timers, any old junction boxes, your breaker, and you want to trace back and see where that other leg is losing its power and then rectify that issue to make sure we're getting the full voltage to the pump itself.